Welcome, Adventure. It's another Cluster Platinum, from our perspective. This is uh, part of my eight game win streak series. Pretty cool game. And this game is to show everybody, all you disbelievers that don't believe it's possible to win the impossible. It is. It is, it is winnable. This game is one of those games that's going to show you straight up how to win a fur versus five of my unrelenting positive attitude and just like extreme focus and just high precision being perfect. You just gotta outplay your opponent. You gotta look at what champions you have. And you gotta make it work. You know, the biggest, most important thing when it comes to these four versus five situations is you need to have damage output. Yeah, it sucks. You don't have a tank sometimes, whatever the case may be, but you need damage. If you have no damage, you can't stop the team. You can't melt the team. If you have damage, you can take one guy out and take out the next guy and take out the third guy, etc., etc., and repeat. And that's pretty much what it takes. To beat them 4v5. So if you're gonna get those hopeless situations, it's still beatable. I get players sometimes like, oh my god, it's so hopeless, we can't do it, it's so, just, just end it, just end it, it's a waste of my time, and it's just cry and cry, and it's so dramatic, and like, me, I just, when, when I get in those situations, yeah, it sucks, but I'm always like, challenge accepted, let's do this. Why? Because I'm in it. I'm in the game, I want my LP, I'm going to fight Tooth and Claw to get the LP. I want to climb the ladder. So I'm going to work. If somebody DCs, I'm going to make it work. Like, it's, again, it sucks. I, I wish, I never wish that upon anybody, even my enemy team. I don't, I don't like it when people DC and stuff, or even when they rage, quit, or whatever the case would be. That just sucks. It's a horrible situation. But um, the point is, is, in those rare instances when it does happen every now and then, like, you just got to push. And, and that's what this game is all about. And I, I'm showing the whole game for this one in particular because uh, it, it's it's a really freaking good game. And like I didn't want to miss anything. This is this is a commentary type video where I look back at a previous game that I played and I basically see what went wrong, what went right. And uh, that being said, I want to see every aspect of this game. I want to rewatch this, see what I did right, see what I did wrong. And my chair keeps popping. Oh my god. So yeah. If you watched our previous episode, um, pretty much like I've been, I've been pretty busy with the lots, lots, lots of ranked teams. I have other projects too, but like definitely ranked games take a lot of my time because I'm rushing that platinum. I want that platinum so bad. And right now, I think I'm at LP 90, like 90 something like that. So one more win, I'll probably go into my promotionals. But um, but I with this eight win streak, I got to go four, but then I fell back behind because of various reasons. But, and then I fell down, I had to climb back up, and so now I'm about gold 4. So, when I, when I started the season, I was stuck pretty much gold 5, 0 LP. Now I'm about gold 4, and I'm just pushing myself, pushing myself, trying to get up there into that platinum. And I had some November 11th to do that, so managing my time between trying to get about 8 games a day, basically, while maintaining my other projects. It's pretty, it can be pretty tricky. But I'm pulling it off, and I'm pushing myself, so... We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, definitely once I get these eight games out, you'll see uh, I'm going to record more games and put out more, basically. But um, but yeah, th there's like a good 30, 40 games I can't record because my hard drive has been full. So I'm just kind of like, you know. And yeah, Lulu and, uh, and or myself, I'm playing Lulu. And Elise, we're just having a little bonding time right here. <laughs> Always nice to bond with your teammates. Make it matter. So at least opens up a blue. Pretty pretty standard, you know. Like get ahead that mana regen. She gets the XP from killing the blue golem. Pretty good. And we're going we're going down bot here. It's too quiet. No, nope, no, nope, there's Jinx and Leona. I was hoping I was thinking something more dramatic was gonna happen, but that's not the case. Yep. At least thanks us for getting her blue. And uh, I'm checking out this bush to make sure Leona's not sitting here. Waiting to grab my misfortune. Oh, I'm playing this misfortune again. That's cool. Oh, Sammy XD. I remember this person. I actually added this person afterwards, and we dueled a couple times, I believe, if I remember correctly. This is pretty, yeah, pretty. I I think it was a pretty good ADC. Like <laughs> this person. Yeah. So we're pushing in. We get that first blood. Very good start. Keeping up that momentum. Right off the back. We are not foreseeing that this is going to be a 4 versus 5. It's far from our minds. So we're just trying to do the best we can. And put, you know, always try to end the game as soon as you can, but no pressure. Like, don't, don't feel pressure to end it fast. But, you know, you want to get those LP, you want to push your advantage as much as you can. I see Elise is fighting Shaco in the jungle, so I move in to try to assist her. Unfortunately, I'm too far away, and she does get killed, so there's not much I can do. 
I don't know. I, I'm like pausing there. I don't know if I'm like shocked or maybe I'm baiting them. Yep. That tasted purple. So I usually only open up about two wards. And the, um, when I'm playing the two wards and the utility ward. And I already place all three of those down because of uh, our little gang scrimmage. And Jinx is just taking way too much damage. Like, she's just staying there and letting me basically free harass her. Like, you don't want to do that against a Lulu because those just abuse the crap out of you. Like oh, Misfortune almost getting that kill there because we got to line herself up with that uh, Jinx there. A double up, double shot, whatever it's called. Double O. Oh, my friend. By the way, I don't know if you guys have read this uh, or care. Like, I know I have some Minecraft fans on this channel, I have some League of Legends on this channel, but uh, my my friend Daikon and Jojo, Kibon, he they both uh, got to meet, like, I think all the Minecraft guys over at Minecon, it's pretty cool, I saw some pictures of them with uh, B double O on their Facebook, it was pretty cool. Like, I'm really happy with those guys, like, if I could have went to Minecon, I totally would have went to Minecon, like, that'd be sick. Especially the networking potential, that's very nice. That's pretty good. And it looks like Shaq goes down here to stomp my ADC. I'm doing everything I can. I'd go to collision block, but he's already in front of me. I saw him down off a Q. That poison goes off. I land the E to make sure that she can survive as much as possible. And she manages to get away. Good place. And she has to back. Obviously, she has some food or HP. I'm chilling pretty much. Just covering the lane, making sure no one else shows up magically. Or Shaco comes again. That's why I'm prepared with that whimsy. So, seeing that no one's coming, I'm going to go ahead and back so I can get a couple wards in before heading back bottom. Or one ward. I guess I, I'm trying to rush that uh, Sight Stone. So I grab the Ruby Crystal for more HP too. And I'm going to head bottom with uh, the pink ward. When it comes to these 4 versus 5s, the biggest things... I think this is where it's going to start. Cannon's going AFK. But uh, the biggest thing when you when you're running a four versus five or hopeless situation is you really I would say your marksman or your APC is probably vital. You need those two. You need people that deal high input damage with that. Like obviously Nasus is nice because QQ all game <laughs> and um, Lulu can go damage if she wanted to. But uh, but typically it's good to have like a misfortune or or at least at least a jungling. But she's an APC nonetheless because of uh, her high AP damage output. But um, though that having high amount of damage makes it the impossible possible. Basically, you just have to outplay your team, which again I keep saying it over and over again because it's so exciting. Uh, that's pretty much what happens this game. Like we just we just hang in there. Team had a lot of heart. I land that E to try to stop that Jinx slow. Leona is just missing. I think Jinx missed too. And we're just getting so much harassing right now. We're just dominating these guys. In these situations, your goal is to pretty much get as much damage in as possible in the exchange. If you get more damage than you won the exchange. And there goes Leona. I land the slow. I try to move in, but unfortunately creeps are blocking me. I go ahead and pressure her moving forward, but she gets some good harass back. So she gets a PP shot in. Lots of pressure. She's forced to back, therefore she cannot CC. I get more harassed. Oh, but she gets more harassed on me, so she won in that exchange. As you can see, we opened the game 3 and 1. Cannon going AFK and not returning. He permanently deceived from this game. And we're pretty much doing everything we can to stall. Obviously, it's not. We don't. Usually when Son DC is the first thought is, oh my god, he's never coming back. The first thought is, okay guys, do your best to stall it out. But I always make the preparation in my head and try to tell the team, like, hey, um, guys, he may not come back. Let's, let's play this out in a way that we can win it. You know, let's think to win it. Shaco, trying to, Shaco and Annie on top of at least mid, they're trying to shut her down. Nothing I can do about it at this point, but I can see it going on in the map. It looks like Annie gets up on the chase and returns to getting some CS while Shackle continues to relentlessly or unrelenting. I don't remember. I'm mixing that up. Trying to get Elise. It looks like Elise is going to get away though. I'm sitting here bottom lane debating if I want to get some more harassing or catch them out of position. Sammy telling me that uh, he's going to put... Uh, actually, I don't know if this is a girl or a guy. Uh, <laughs> if going to put... um. 
next war, I'm assuming the pink war. Probably has an award in inventory. Leo and myself are having a little stare off here. Acting as wards in that bush. Almost got in position to land my E on Jinx to get some harassing, but unfortunately she backed up at the last second. So I just reset the situation. We have some demoralization going on, or some lack of morale showing with the hopes that uh, Cannon shows back because she feels like, I believe it was Lisa said that, feels like you're gonna have to work hard, and of course it is hard work. You gotta, you gotta work your butt off this 4v5 freaking disadvantage. Crazy. Jinx misses another harass. Or I could maybe I could word it more positively towards me. I dodged another harass. Oh, <laughs> the way you use words. At least trying to push the momentum down. Coming down for another gank. We la I land the slow and the whimsy. They're taking tons of damage. It looks like she's gonna get away. So we turn on that Leona. But unfortunately, we don't deal enough damage to either of them. They're really low forced to stay at the tower. I'm trying to get some harassing. But uh, I, I just end up taking a shot to the face like an idiot. <laughs> but <laughs> so I win to the end, see if I can uh, sneak in a quick Q, harass, annoy them, whatever the case may be, get the pressure up. But they're recalling. It's like Shaco is missing. Probably shouldn't stay down here any longer. I tell Misfortune I'm backing. Misfortune lands that pink work. I t I'm basically pinging her back because I'm, I'm afraid Chaco's going to show up. Keeping pressure on every single lane. Get some boots because mobility is going to be very important this game, especially because it's three, a uh, 4v5 situation. You want to be able to get around the map. So right now, taking a look back, I'm telling my team, we have the team comp to beat them 4v5, just have to outplay them. I'm trying to get, I'm basically trying to prepare my team like, guys, this might be a 4v5, you know. We can do this, we just gotta focus. Basically, that's the that intention, just mentally prepping my team to be ready for this, because I'm ready to go in this. At least concerned that we need, uh, need Kennen. She's showing her worries some more. You gotta believe, man. You gotta believe in the team. Unrelenting positivity. As this is my way of the carry. Hoi, 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 hoi. I uh, E my misfortune so she can go up, take a little bit of harass, and deal a little bit of extra damage. They don't bother harassing her though, so it's kind of pointless. E. But that that's that's what goes through my mind when I E. It seems like an E from the person. So Shaco's- wait, who's that? Shaco's top. Who the hell's butt? I can't move the map, so I can't see. Annie, probably. Yeah, it's Annie. Her stun is up. So we're trying to waste her time. Misfortune warns about the flash all very deadly on Annie. She begins to recall, I have no interest for her to stay here. So I try to tell him to wait for Annie to recall, but unfortunately, Ellie's position gives away that we're about to do a gank. So Annie does stay. And lots of damage going along around the table. We take out the Leona and we start to move on to Annie. Misfortune is dealing tons of damage to Annie and takes her out. Unfortunately, we took a lot of losses, but it was worth it because we did kill them all in the end. And I'm telling Eliza uh, that I was trying to tell her to wait, basically. There's some situations that you want to tell the team something, but you can't type it fast enough. I I've had that before. I had another game recently that wasn't recorded where we could have got out of a situation if my Varus tanked the tower for me and we backed out, but we need to do it immediately because their middle and their jungler was coming. And unfortunately, or the top rather, it was Pantheon. And unfortunately, I couldn't tell him fast enough, so we just sat around waited for about three seconds and then he tanked it for him, but by that time it was too late and we got killed. So yeah, if you can Skype a full team or, or uh, vent or whatever the case may be to actually talk with them, it's a huge advantage as long as you're talking about the game. I mean, if you're just screwing about whatever, talking about whatever, then obviously it's not going to accomplish anything. But if you're talking about the game itself and uh, you're trying to communicate, okay, move here, go here, it's a lot faster than typing it out. 
And uh, my MF is getting fed, and basically uh, the goal is a hyper feeder. We want her to do tons of damage. We want her to basically 1v5 everybody, but with the added support making it more you know favorable on their odds. That's the saying he's going full tank, which is an excellent employ this particular game. Trying to get as much harassing as possible. I whimsy that Jinx shut her down. And it looks like that uh, Shaco moves in. I'm doing everything I can to place all my spells where they need to be. We get the triple kill there. Or three kills and both of us survive. Annie's showing up. So you can see her on the minimap. She's about to pop up. So I'm whimsying out. They're trying to get out. I'm a little bit panicked because she flashed in and she almost got me. But I got out of there. Right now we have the momentum of two to three. You ten to three. You want to keep that momentum up. Very important to keep your lead in four v five situations. Any throws at, at any point of this game can really cost any. Th any throws in any game at any point can cost you the game. But but like it's especially brutal when you're already at disadvantage for four v five. The deadly 4v5. So this is where on this blue, Elise doesn't seem to be caring about it. It's just like... She probably actually is baiting Annie back over to waste her time. I see no one's in position here, but unfortunately uh, a lot of people are missing and are up. So I'm t I'm freaking out because Miss Force is face checking right now. Like she intends to lay a war, but like what if Annie was in that bush right there? That could have That could have been very bad. Granted, we're probably higher level than Annie right now, so I guess she would have survived, but, you know, typically face checking is never a good idea. Uh, okay, unless you're the tank and you have your freaking damage backing you. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. In some situations. No kids have to go me. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> An a, a marksman that can get two shot going into a bush is probably not good most of the time. <laughs> So pretty much all lanes have pressure again. Nasus is just farming up there. Uh, we're trying to keep as much pressure down here as possible. I position myself in a way to draw Jinx back into the battle. That alt pops him up. Or my alt pops him up. Allowing Misfortune to get that kill. And almost get a second kill. Uh, Jinx is pretty much disabled at this point. She can't do anything to us. Unfortunately, our lives fall to Annie. And we're waiting for that Shaco. Misfortune has plenty of damage from our auto attacks at this point. I have plenty of CC, so we are ready for the Shaco. Uh, keep an eye out for the Annie, though. It looks like she's missing for the map. I'd imagine she popped her alt on Elise, though. Because Elise is pretty, pretty well off. So she can't just like Q, Q, Q. Elise dead, no. And there's a Jack in the Box just sitting there out of nowhere. Wonder when I got there. Trying to push this dragon now, I think. Yeah, because uh, we're in position and this is not warded, at least it doesn't look like it. So we're going to take a little risk here and see if we can get to sneak this dragon in before anybody notices. I'm sure they're kind of scared at this point because we are building a lot of momentum. So they don't want to risk it. And it looks like Leona is coming to ward dragon. But it's too late, dragon goes down, we get our team more global gold. Oh, she didn't come up. Leona went back to Jinx. Probably horrified. Terrified, petrified of us. I forgot where that's from. Horrified, petrified, terrified of you is actually what the saying was. But I don't know what. doing a great job shutting down that river, making sure she doesn't get ahead. They do take down this tower. Misfortune moves in, engaged. She has no mana, but plenty of auto attacks. And I have all this CC, so I'm just trying to do what I can to disable this jinx. Unfortunately, she does go down. And we do make a throw here. We're a little bit, we're a little bit paranoid, or a little bit upset, I would say. I don't know. I think we're kind of calm here, but this is a, this is a really bad throw. We kept a really good momentum, and uh, and we we threw it here. And I tell my team what the throw is going on. Uh, at least just threw again mid. Uh, we just threw bot. I tell my team we need to be perfect if we want to win this, and, and we do. We can't, we can't let them catch up. Like they're twelve and seven right now. They're slowly catching up. So this. Is, it's getting very dangerous. We gotta keep that momentum up. You'll see more with your eyes closed. 
Ah, interesting. I went mana manipulator. I guess I'm thinking, oh, misfortune was not mana. Let me get her a little bit extra mana. So, misfortune is upset. You're saying that I can't mess up the game. And uh, I'm saying, no, we're still in this. Just fo focus and be perfect. That's all I'm thinking about when I'm playing this game. It's trying to be as perfect as possible and trusting in my, in the in the judgment of my ally. I, I trusted in Miss Horses' call to engage bottom. It might have worked out, but unfortunately, it didn't. So obviously, sometimes people make that you know mistakes and stuff like that. Like no one's perfect, but uh, but it's important to trust your team most definitely. Elise saying she can beat Annie, but Shaco keeps uh, interfering. And I'm being optimistic as always. Like I said, uh, I'm trying to encourage the team to be perfect and just focus. But I'm also saying that it is possible that Kenan can't show up. We need to hold out for him to come back. Leona is flanking us from behind. Most likely with Jinx as well. But this time, Misfortune has mana. Just a lot more winnable. I disabled that Annie. But um, it doesn't look like Misfortune is fighting, so she she tries to glide them away, and I just decide, like, you know what, you're going to die. I'm going to back off from here. So once again, another throw. The odds of winning this seem to get more hopeless and hopeless. But despite that, it's still very possible to win. You guys are like, you're a dick. This is one of those games where you make it sound like you're going to win and stuff, and, and you're gonna you're gonna end up losing, aren't you? Like, <laughs> no, no, this this isn't one of those games where we, where that happens. I think I only did that in one episode where I made it look like we were gonna win, and then we we end up losing it, and it was really depressing. But no, this is not one of those games. This is a uh, a game that we do succeed in pulling off. Four v five. I honestly didn't remember that we made this many mistakes, which which is again why I wanted to watch this because I want to see every detail and see what happened. But uh. But I think that makes it even better, to be honest. Like, to make mistakes and still push in a 4v5. And he's racking up those points, becoming more and more of a threat. I'm trying to catch these guys and keep them here. I lock that misfortune in place. I want to put the momentum back in our favor. I take out Jinx, make sure she goes down. And... Leona barely gets away for life. But that shutdown was extremely important because I want the momentum back in my favor. I don't want them to to be reversing the momentum here. Miss Fortune moving in, trying to see if she can cast that Leona. I'm uh, hesitantly following her from behind because I think once you're going to show up, I'm telling her to back up because I'm predicting that Shaka's going to show up to gank her. Maybe even Annie. Whoa. Lee's a little bit upset about this Annie. Annie is catching up on lots of kills, lots of kills. I'm gonna back and spend the money that I have. I warn my misfortune that I'm backing. Hopefully, she doesn't get gained from Shaco. I go ahead and sell the mana manipulator because uh, the mana issue isn't there anymore. So, that was kind of like a weird call. And notice I'm getting a needlessly large rod in this game because this game is a 4v5. We need the extra damage. Warning is gonna be important, but it's gonna be more important that we outplay these guys. So, wherever we position themselves, we need to take advantage of the little bit of wards that we do put down. We, I can't be warding the entire map. We're not going to be around the entire map. We gotta keep, we gotta play smart. So, let's see here. We got, uh, we're Nas is talking about we should group. Uh, Lisa's agreeing. I'm telling them, I'm agreeing as well, telling them we need to push move. Mid, and I'm emphasizing the pill misfortune because she does tons of damage. Miss Horsion is discouraging us from grouping at this point because she probably wants to shop a little bit more. Shaco and Annie both are missing, so I'm putting down the retreat ping, concerned that they're going to jump over this wall. I don't know if I'm baiting or what, but I know some sign very close to that left wall there. Shing's heading mid towards that at least. I'm um, pointing out that Dragon's gonna be up soon. To be honest, I never could try that timer. I have no idea. Or the timer. I have no idea if it's actually gonna be up soon. I just know that it's been a while since Dragon's been up, so it's probably gonna be up soon. I mean, it's probably, I mean that's reasonable, right? It hasn't been up for a while. 
Whimsy, land that E, trying to get that Q. It does it does miss, unfortunately. At least let's go in. So I alter to try to lock these people down. Trying to get that Jinx down. Nash just gets that cute Siphon Strike in. Sammy taking advantage of that positioning. Landing kills left and right. Misfortune uh, sees that Shaco and engages, takes it out. We move on to Dragon. Trying to secure that three kills into Dragon. Tons of gold for our team. And immediately I do the ping for the middle push. We want to keep the momentum going. Always say that over and over and over again. I think everybody says that. Momentum, momentum, momentum. Because it's so important. Very important word to keep the momentum. Momentum ties into to morale. It ties into the ability of the enemy team catching up. It ties into... It, it's such a good word for describing progress in this game. Nasus and myself pushing mid while... Uh, the, our other two teammates go ahead and push bot. Lots of pressure. And of course also in 4v5 is one of the advantages of taking them out repeatedly is you're demoralizing them. Like some people like me will probably keep, could probably keep going but like uh, in a 4v5 situations you'll more like I think, I'm pretty sure, you're gonna level up faster because there's less players to spread the XP with. Those four, <laughs> that dagger from the Shaco. Just going all the way to, to Nasus as you recalled. But you're gonna level up so like in a 45 situation if you get the momentum going you're a lot harder to deal with. And it can be very demoralizing because like you feel like man they only have four players but we're doing bad. Like it, it can it can be pretty crippling. Alright, uh oh, aim hack well. So I'm telling my team once again, uh, emphasizing the importance of getting that damage I put out and melting them. And I'm telling them to basically try to end it early because we don't want them to catch up, definitely not. Uh, pointing out again that I did get a Rabadon's Death Cap because the damage this game is going to be crucial to winning. It's... Like we need to take them out as fast as possible. You see how fast that Jinx dropped. Matter of three or four seconds, Leona freaked out and just ran away. She's like, nope, I'm not. This ain't happening. And she just ran. Miss Fortune has her eyes on that Shaco heading over to help her. Want to keep her alive as, as long as possible. So she can deal maximum damage. Don't know where that Annie is. Perhaps that Annie went AFK. I don't know, I haven't seen her. At least suggesting that we follow Nasus around. Trying to ambush the Shaco. The less players they have on the field, the better we are off. Calling out objectives again, pushing that red, or taking out that red and pushing that mid. Let my team know we're heading down that way. Nasus wants to get the inner tower, I'm all for it. Nasus running that. I run in to lock down that Jinx because I do not want her to get away. I want them to be down their ADC immediately. Because that's taking a lot of damage that she doesn't really have. But taking a lot of damage out. My team jumps on top of it, Leon takes it out, and they do go for the surrender. And that, my friends, is how you win a 4 versus 5. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Adventure. Until next time.